There are a lot of claims about the US Postal Service right now. Some true, some false, and some that can't be verified. Let's start with some claims about President Trump. Dozens of headlines say, quote, Trump admits he's blocking postal cash to stop mail-in votes. Now this all goes back to the debate over another coronavirus relief plan. Republicans and Democrats in Congress have been at a stalemate over the terms, and on Fox Business on Thursday, President Trump was asked what's keeping them from a deal. Here's what he said. Two of the items are the post office and the three and a half billion dollars for mail-in voting. Now, if we don't make a deal, that means they don't get the money. That means they can't have universal mail-in voting. They just can't have it. So Trump does say money for mail-in voting is one of the reasons Republicans aren't agreeing to a deal, but he doesn't explicitly say he's blocking it. Then on Friday, he was asked if he would sign off on a deal that funds the USPS. His response? Sure, if they gave us what we want. Then there's this claim that President Trump called the USPS the most corrupt and anti-American way of voting and said, quote, if I have to shut down the entire mail system in the months leading to the election, I will. Now this image says it's a quote from the Sean Hannity show in late July, but it's false. President Trump did not appear on Sean Hannity that day, and this quote was not tweeted, shared, or said by the president in any other format. And finally, this image went viral with the claim that mailboxes are being removed near Portland, Oregon. We checked with the USPS. A spokesperson confirmed they did remove four mailboxes near Portland and 27 mailboxes near Eugene. That's verified. They say the boxes are being moved from multiple locations that have mailboxes next to each other. Folks, if you've got other claims or questions you want us to look into, send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.